matter what the uh, obstacles that we have been faced with, we're gonna find a way to overcome it. And that has transitioned into my disability uh, journey. He was ejected and he crawled back to the car to kind of calm me down and uh, go get help while I was trapped in the vehicle. Good morning, sweetheart. This is day two. Would you like to sit up? I want people to understand that no matter what you're faced with, there's always a better tomorrow. The troubles you're faced with today don't have to be the end of your story. It's not just texting drivers, any type of distracted driving, whether it's texting, eating, uh, cognitive distracted driving, where you're just like kind of zoned out. Like even though you're looking at the road and you know, you're just thinking like, man, I got so much stuff to do when I get home. And, you know, just not really focus on driving. And I just try to bring people awareness. A car is a weapon. At that rate of speed, it's considered a weapon. Just be careful when you're behind the wheel. There's a will, there's a way. Just think about whatever activities you want to do in life, whatever goals you inspire to accomplish. Like, what do you need to do to achieve those? And they can definitely be done as long as you have the right mindset and a supportive team. I love doing adrenaline things. If I truly want to do it, I'm going to find some way to get it done. I might not be able to do it as fast as an able-bodied person, or I might not be able to do it exactly how I thought I, it would be done, but the end goal was accomplished. And I love living my life like that. People don't notice it until like they've become disabled or they know somebody that's disabled or uh, somebody with a disability brings it to their attention. It makes it so much easier when you have a team. When you put the right people around you that are like-minded individuals that want to see you in, that want to see you succeed, it can push whatever goals you aspire to accomplish to the next level a hundred thousand percent.